hi guys welcome back to my video i know it has been a while but your girl is back and i am so excited to be recording this video for you guys uh today i am going to be doing a double tip extra long nail set you guys wanted to see how i double tip my nails you guys wanted to see how i get the straight look if that makes sense you guys were like you know how to get the nail straight because when you double tip it you usually get a curve and you guys wanted to see how i file my nail tips how i get the shape that i get and you know just see how i file it <laughs> if that makes sense so i'm just going to try and explain this as quickly and as simple as i can so we can just get back to watching the video okay so for me um when it comes to double tipping it's just that easy all you have to do is um put two nail tips together it's just like that um so to prevent the nail from curving all you have to do is cut the nail tip where it's about to start curving so when you place your first nail tip down, if you look at the nail tip from the side, you'll see that regular nail tips will curve. So if you get you a nail tip and you look at it, you'll see that the nail tip starts to go down or curve down. So after you've glued that first nail tip on, you wanna cut where it looks like the nail is about to start curving down. And then you get your other nail tip and glue that on to that part where you just cut it. So that's where you're gonna double tip. And then once you do that, you just cut the nail into the de desired length that the client uh, will be asking for, unless she wants something longer than what we're um, doing now on this practice hand, then you can just repeat the steps, you know, with the second nail tip that you place down. You just cut it where it looks like it's um, about to start curving, and then you place the, the other tip on it and just, you know, cut to the desired length, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it with that. I hope that that made sense that you were able to visualize that. As you, you, you'll be able to see if you were wind back to the beginning of the video, you'll see where I kind of cut and then um, glued the second nail tip onto that first one. Next is how do I file my nails? So um, it's very hard for me to file my extra long nails, especially in the beginning. So that's why I really don't do too much filing in the beginning. I let um, my e-file do the work. Um, so what I usually do is I will get my scissors or my straight edge nail clippers and I'll clip the nails into the desired shape, whether it be stiletto, coffin, paper square, whatever. Um, I'll cut it into the desired shape and then I'll go in with my uh, e-file and my sanding man and kind of you know file it and bring the shape in a little bit more and then I'll turn around and get my hand file and try to sharpen the shape up a little bit not too much but just a little bit because um, I don't really want to go to do too much um, on that nail tip because um, it can hurt the client um, and most of the time I'm just afraid that I am going to break the nail tip in half because it's always so flimsy so <clears throat> excuse me i usually save all of my aggressive filing till the end so yeah that's usually what i do so um the next thing you guys asked about was the apex and what i can tell you when it comes to extra long nails the longer the nail the closer the apex needs to be to the cuticle area. So, uh, not not on the cuticle area, but it needs to be closer to the cuticle area, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, um, when I am building my apex, I usually just place a bead down and um, keep that product right in the space and just brush the back of the product, or brush the bottom part of the bead down and kind of smooth it into the nail. Um, <clears throat> it's just kind of like, you know, you're just building a, a ramp. It's really just like you're building a ramp. Like picture you're out there in the dirt and you're just making a ramp out of dirt, right? When you put all of that product there at the top and you're trying to, you know, do that ramp, you're just smoothing out the back part of it. That's what you're doing. That's all you're doing 
when you're building an apex so yeah i'm going to do a um close-up probably i think when i'm putting the clear on top of the um color and i'll do a close-up and you guys will be able to see what i'm doing i think i may slow it down too so you guys can kind of see how i do it but it's just that easy you just have to learn how to control your product and you'll be fine <laughs> Okay, you guys, I was very inspired by this glitter. I was just roaming through my glitter drawer and I saw this glitter that I had mixed up a while back and I fell in love with it. Um, and I was trying to find a color that goes really good with it and I found this beautiful plum. It kind of looks red on camera, but it's really not. I think I'm gonna show a swatch of it to show you how it really looks and you'll see it at the end of the video. But um, I found this plum color and I thought it was so gorgeous and I thought it went so well with the, the glitter. So yeah, um, I just decided to do that glitter, uh, use that glitter and do a sugar nail. And uh, yeah, um, I thought it came out really, 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 really good. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, and here's a close-up of how I build my uh, apex. Remember why I told you why I usually just, you know, place my uh, product down and then I just usually brush down the bottom part of the the back part of the bee and just smooth it in um, that's just what I'm doing Okay, you guys, now that I am done filing the nails, I am now going to get my uh, fine cuticle bit and just go around the cuticle area and seal around there really good, making sure that the product is very flush and thin near the cuticle. Okay, you guys, now on to the foil gel. And this is where I had my problems at. Um, I, me and foil gels have a love and hate relationship. I really had a hard time trying to get these butterflies to transfer onto the nail. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the foil gel that I'm using, which I would use the McCart and I will use the Glamour Nail Supply, either or, but I can never get the whatever foil that I'm using to transfer. It always turns out blotchy no matter what I do. So um, it just didn't work for me um, on this set, on any other set, whenever I try and use it. So that really kind of messed me up. It, was, it bummed me out, so I didn't really like it. I was mad that it, you know, everything was blotchy. So the only thing I can think of was just to throw some bling on it and um, call it a day. <laughs> um, 
what I'm doing now is doing my sugar nail. I am applying the gel polish and then I'm going to sprinkle the glitter on top of it. And a tip to um, prevent your glitter from uh, falling off when you do a sugar nail is to go back and do a double coat. So once you clear, once you pat in the glitter and then, you know, cure the the sugar nail, then you go back in with a second coat of um, clear gel top coat and sprinkle the glitter on there again. And then after you take it out there, just dust it off and you should be good. And um, I'm just about to go ahead and apply the bling onto the, I'm sorry, I'm about to apply some top coat and then go on top of it with the bling. Um, and wrap it around the nail uh, because I didn't know what else to do. I wanted to cover up the mistakes on the nail, but I thought it was so cute. And you know, if it would have been, um, if it would have transferred a, a whole lot better, I think it would have turned out so beautiful, especially if I would have double um, did the foil. It would have just looked like a beautiful butterfly nail, but it just didn't work the way I envisioned it, but it still came out cute. I really like the colors together. I really love the bling wrapped around the nail like that. And I just thought it was gorgeous. Um, and I hate to break you guys heart. These are AB crystals that I'm applying. And it's blinging like the Swarovski crystals, okay? So don't sleep on the AB crystals. They bling just like the real thing, okay? Because as you guys know, Swarovski's is about to stop selling their... Um, rhinestones and whatnot um come june 2021 so stock up if you can if not you can um just get the ab crystals because as you can see they're still gorgeous okay so yeah you guys we are coming towards the end of the video i hope you guys like this video if you want to see more videos from me just hit the like button and comment down below what you want to see from me um and uh, yeah and i'll talk to you guys later don't forget to like comment and subscribe